Hello and welcome back to my blind LP of Ape Escape on the PlayStation 1. This is part 10. I'm very, very tired. I think I'm going to be calling this the last part. But I really wanted to do an all-nighter, but I don't want to fall asleep while doing this recording. Anyway, stop babbling. Let's uh, load a game. Or maybe I'll just carry on until I do fall asleep. That might be actually quite fun. Go cool, on, let's, let's just do that. Anyway, that's, that's me playing away ahead. Anyway, we're 23% of this game. Right, let's load our last, where we last left off, which was Dexter's Island. That was a really cool level. And um, see where the adventure takes us now. I think we're going to be unlocking a new world, actually. I've noticed there's three in each, three in the each, like, first world, and the second world is three levels, and then... So I'm going to guess we're going to have a new world. I think. Maybe not. Anyway, so I think we are actually. Right, let's go to the next one, which is Ice Age, which is Frozen Ocean. Ooh, I do like ice levels. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Spike, it will be extremely cold in this next age. The Earth has gone through a number of cold periods like this one, which is called the Ice Age. The gadgets will help to protect you from the cold, but be very cautious. Okay, thank you. In your own time game, there we go. Right. Hello. I don't know your name yet. Right, we've got five monkeys out of six and one spectre going. Right. Are we going to be like wearing a jacket? Is that the gadget? A jacket? Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, it's got machinery. I'm not wearing a jacket. What's this gadget then that he was talking about to keep me warm? Huh. Right. Talk of this. The sea in this ice age is severely cold. You will be hurt if you fall in. Be careful. Yeah, I kind of gathered that. Usually in ice levels, the water is too cold for you to swim in. It's like that in Super Mario um, 64, Banjo Kazooie, uh, Croc. So. Right, let's have a look around then. Oh, look, little monkey, monkey thing, monkey snowman thing. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Isn't, honestly, this is just one of the, this has to be one of the nicest looking PlayStation 1 games I have seen. It really is. I mean, the draw distances are pretty, pretty bad. It's not the, it's not the worst, but it's not brilliant. But, um, still really nice to look at. Uh, what's this? A snow turtle? No, it's a snowman. Woo! Is he wearing like a pot on his head? He looks like a like a gangster snowman though. Love it. Can I climb up on this? I can oh oh I can, but I slide off. Good to know that they are solid. So I might need to use that to get somewhere. It's a path that way and a path this way. I'm gonna go the way that's no energy chips. The less obvious way. I feel like this is the way I'd come back. Oh, oh, maybe not. It's a mailbox here. If you're reading this letter, you are lost. Use the monkey radar to find the monkey. Switch it to the monkey camera with the L2 button to see them up close. <laughs> you're lost. You've gone the wrong way. I love that. I'm not lost. I was just exploring, alright? I was exploring there, guy. Okay. I'm not really lost, because I just go back the way I came. And look, hey, presto. Unlost, if that's the word. Right. Uh, what? Has he put a flag up? Is that water? Um, what are you doing? It would have been handy if I had this out. I don't know what he's doing. Um, kind of know what he's getting at here. Do I, what do I do? Maybe if I just hide on the floor. There we go. There we go, that was easy. 
just took a bit of brain power, which I'm, I don't have when I'm very tired. Okay, what's down here? Music's quite peaceful. It's getting me tired, actually. Oh, just a piece of table around. Just a giant piece of table around. I don't think there's anything else down here. Alright. I do like these ice levels. I really do love ice levels. And this is re this does look really nice. It's got nice music. It's got it's snowing. It's also snowing. I think the only thing it's missing is it should have footprints in the, in the snow. It should have had that. Right, there's a killer. Oh, I just saw one of the um, Spectre coins there. No, you. Oh. Git. Come here. Gangster snowman. Derek. Right, how do I get that? Whoa, there's a giant woolly mam mammoth there. Um. Do I hit it with this thing? Oh, it's worked. Oh, he's firing at me. Oh, I've just knocked him out of the thing. Haha. <laughs> Grab that. There we go. Right, there's the monkey. He's a bit stunned. Don't blame him. Right, I've caught two now. I just saw a monkey over there, I think. No, it's a flying... It's a blue dragon bird thing. It's blue now. Right. Let's take care of this thing. Oh, I walked into that. Whoops. Can I get up there? Is it slidey? No, it's definitely... It's 100% slidey. Because, like, in the um, one of the levels, dinosaur or whatever, um, you could... Dinosaur Valley, I think. Does this actually hurt me? No, it doesn't actually hurt me. Oh, he's friendly then, isn't it? Can I hit him? I'm not friendly. Oh, dear. No, it does hurt you. It does hurt if you try and whack it. Good to know. Uh, take care of this bird this way. Oh dear, it's got an extra hit point. Oh, I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, it's got three. Hmm. I jump over there. Is this ice? On that biscuit. I think it's. I think this is slidey. Maybe not. Doesn't feel. No, it doesn't actually feel slidey. Oh, I can't go that way. Maybe if I run it, can I do it if I run? There we go. What's this? Oh. Oh, that's a biscuit dispenser. It's a biscuit barrel. It's a cookie jar. Oh. That's what that is. I thought that was a pickup for, like, bullets. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, can't quite make that, I don't think. Oh, something down there, though. I think. Check down here. No. No. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm going to get up here, then. Can I use this thing to, to jump? No, I don't... I don't know, actually. Maybe. There we go. Maybe it's this one I need. No, I don't think I can, actually. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Maybe I need a new gadget. And if not, I will come back to that. I don't want to faff around too long doing that. could spend too, way too long doing that and be like, get everyone bored. Right. So that's quite, that's made that go down. In your own time. Oh, it's getting stuck on that wheel thing. Can you bring it back down, then? There we go. Does that that's gonna hurt me those fans, isn't it? Basically I'm dodging them until I get up. Yeah, I thought that was the case, but I can't actually see where I'm going. There we go. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't want to read the mailbox. I wanted to get the monkey. Looks like this machine is moving the propeller. I think we should destroy this hazardous thing. You think? It's 
Let's get the monkey first. There we go. No, oh, it just dramatically explodes then. Okay. That's how machinery work. Okay. There's a monkey there. Love how the monkeys are wearing jackets like it's cold, but we're not. Like, seriously, Spike would be freezing his, like, little hair. Wait, I've just noticed he's got two type. He's got two hair colours. He's got blonde fringe, but then red spiky hair. It's not appropriate snow attire, I've got to say. Um, where am I going then? Am I not... Am I going this way? Oh, I'm going this way. Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm on top of here now. I'm going to need this thing because I'm going to get blown off if I'm not careful. Bonk. There we go. That should be the end of the level, right? Well yeah. Done. Well, that wasn't too bad. And then... And, and the woolly mammoth has said hi in the background there. Hello, woolly mammoth. I'm going to name him Mark. There we go. Mark the mammoth. You're good. You're good. Thank you. I love that. I don't know why that just just that's really nice. I like that. Right. Okay, so that's that's another stage down. Obviously, we're gonna revisit these stages and get all the monkeys once we get everything, all the gadgets together. Cause like, I don't know how I'm gonna get certain things and. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I just want to point that out. I will be returning to the stages in later on. I really realise there's no point returning them to now because I'm not going to actually get all the monkeys first go in some of the levels. So I might as well return back to them later on in one foul swoop. Like the second part of the game, I guess. Anyway, let's read the monkeys. We've got 53 monkeys now. We are collecting a lot of monkeys. Are we really missing one monkey? Alright, we'll come back there later on anyway. Um, right, so data. Um, his name is Sumner, has an unusual voice. Uh, then you got Jealous. Who names a, who names a kid Jealous? I know it's a monkey, but Arnie's rival. Okay. Got Hey Hey. What are these names? Hey Hey. He's a monkey. Oh. Hey, hey with the monkeys. Dun, 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 dun. I get it. I hope my little mumbling there doesn't copyright claim this bloody video. No on YouTube at the moment. Got Laurel, missing partner. Lucas, a menace. And that's that. All right. So let's save the game and call that part 10. Oh, this game is so good. It really is. It's so, so good. I'm not tired. I, I was tired when I started this part, but now I'm not. So let's save, shall we, over this one. And 25%. Uh, We're a quarter away through the game. That makes me slightly sad. Anyway, that's, uh, let's play Ape Escape Blind on the PlayStation 1. This has it's been part 10. Uh, take care. Hope you have a lovely day, evening, night, whatever you're doing. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Take care. I've been Joel. And um, bye for now.